So let's talk about the SEC. After Georgia's loss to Bama, who is your pick to win the conference? Mike, we'll start with you. Uh, I'm going to be on Bama here, EC. You know, I look, I think Georgia is still right there with them in terms of those two teams being very, very good and very close. I just don't think Georgia is going to be able to reach the title game because of the schedule that they've got coming up. So I, I personally like Bama here. Uh, and, and when I look at Texas, I think Texas has a more difficult road. I think they're the better team. But considering the quarterback uh, situation there, we'll see when Quinn Ewers is able to return. For me right now, it's got to be the favorite with Bama. As I think their schedule sets up very friendly their real big tough game that they had on the schedule this year not that there aren't other tough games but the one that they were probably going to lose was that georgia game the fact that they were able to get it love their odds of just simply being in that title game now i mean just to echo kirby smart here what do you think you're gonna do what can you do to stop alabama's offense when you've got a player like jalen milrow who has so many different ways to beat you you know, the only thing you do traditionally is you try to bring in extra bodies, try to bring them close to the line of scrimmage. You try to take away from the pass defense. Well, 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 well what are you going to do with Ryan Williams out there on one side? What are you going to do with Jeremy Bernard? What are you going to do with Kendrick Law? That, I understand that other offenses have put up better statistics in terms of yards or points, but if we want to talk about actually game planning and scheming to try to stop a team that wants to get in the end zone, no one has more punches and counter punches than the Alabama Crimson Tide. Oh yeah, the offensive line's good and they got two good running backs. So impressed with Alabama. I think they'll be able to navigate the rest of the way. And look, the remaining schedule, as Mike said, is going to set them up to be in Atlanta. I'll take it one further. I've got a lot of confidence that they win in Atlanta, even if it's a rematch against the Bulldogs. What you expect shouldn't surprise you. I expected Bama to beat Georgia, and I expect Texas to win the SEC. So I'm not going to move off that pick based on what I saw Bama do with Georgia. I expected that, so it didn't surprise me. I like Texas. I like how they're built on both sides of the line of scrimmage. I trust Quinn Ewers more than I trust Carson Beck. And I do feel like Bama will make this one a game. And oh, by the way, this little important tidbit, we saw Texas beat Alabama last year uh, in Tuscaloosa. So I, I've seen them do it before. I know they're well built on both sides of the line of scrimmage, which is important, versus Bama. They have tremendous talent at wide receiver, which can attack this Bama secondary, like Chip brought up all last week's episode, which was true in that ball game against Georgia. So even if you get a Quinn Ewers out there or from what we've seen so far from an Arch Manning, now Manning brings in the athletic aspect of it more so than Ewers, I still like Texas's chances to knock off Bama.